Tony Shea Bear 1000 here. Today, I'm going to be working on the vet again. Real short though. I'm going to be putting new fuel injectors in. I don't know if I'll get it together because it's 98 with a real feel of 110. So, you know, that's pretty hot. So, let's go ahead and get started on these things. And we'll at least get them put in. Okay, so we're going to get these out. I'm kind of in the tip of the garage here in the shade. I'm going to go down in like this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some Vaseline. They say you can use oil. I've just always used Vaseline on that one. That's going to be going down inside the intake and this one will be going up inside the fuel rail. So get these greased up nice and nice and good and uh, that way we don't rip a seal like I did last time I put one in there. It took a while to start leaking though. It wasn't leaking before. These are just 22 pound injectors. We don't have a supercharger on there anymore, so I'm not sure what the other injectors were. But factory calls for 22 pounds. If I find out later it needs more as cheap as these things are, I'll go, you know, with a 24 pound or whatever. So let me get these all lubed up here. And we'll take them over and we'll stick them down into the intake. Okay, guys, now... You can either put the injectors into the intake first and then your fuel rail or you can put them into the fuel rail and then put the injectors down in. Now I'm going to do it that way this time because the last time when I broke that seal, when I ripped that seal, I put the injectors in first. So this time I'm going to put the injectors in the fuel rail and try that. They're real easy to rip them. It's happened. This ain't the first time it's happened to me, honestly. I mean, we're human, right? There's two kinds of people that have done that. People that haven't done it, that are going to do it, and people that have done it. So, it's going to happen eventually. So, let's go ahead. And I'm going to speed you up through this. And we're going to try to get this down in here. they're in there now issue I have putting this other side of the plen plenum on there's a bolt that goes through here so I hope I don't have to pull that distributor I don't think I did last time but uh, so what we're going to do first is I'm going to hook these fuel lines up over here right here and then We'll kick the fuel pump on a few times, see if there's any leaks. If it's gonna leak, it'll leak as soon as that pump kicks on. So, move these out of the way. There's some rubber O-rings up inside of here that these gotta go inside. So, I'm gonna put a little bit of, a little bit of Vaseline on there. And hopefully they'll go up inside someone's had a leak here before because it looks like they put sealer on these threads well this doesn't seal at the thread so when you're doing that you're wasting your time it doesn't make sense 
So, because they seal up here, not on the threads. All right, let me go get my Vaseline and a wrench. My guesstimation, if it's going to leak anywhere, it's going to leak here. At least, that's what I'm hoping. But we'll see. Alright, let me go put this thing on a battery charger. We'll give it some power and see if anything leaks. Okay guys, let me get you down here. First, the fuel pump wasn't working, so I just ran a couple wires to see if this was going to leak. I didn't want to put this back together without not knowing if it was going to leak or not. It's a good thing I did because, look at this. I didn't notice that before, but this is a pressure regulator, and it was squirting out of here and running down through here. So, I'm going to have to put new fuel rail on it. Rails. I found some JB Weld up in here and up in there, so, you know, you, that's one place right over top of spark plug wires you don't want fuel to be laying. So, it's going to have to wait a little longer. But it's a project car, you know. Uh, that's what you do. You just don't, you don't do it in one weekend and be done. So, you know, it's, it is what it is. All right, guys. Anyway, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Uh, yeah, sometimes things don't go the way they should or the way you plan and this is just part of it So that's why I'm uploading it to show people that are wanting to get a project car that this kind of Thing this unforeseen thing can can happen, you know, so It's not a big deal. We'll get another one and Yeah Then I'll we'll figure out why there's no power going back to the fuel pump there is a wire ran from back there up to here somewhere and it shouldn't be there so all right guys that's at a later day it was a real feel of 110 to me that means it was 110 so but it was 98 with a heat index of 110 so i'm going in the house we'll see you guys in the next one thanks for watching guys bye bye and take care